Hey guys, welcome back. I'm uh, glad you could join me today. Today I'm going to show you some of the testing of my hacked Mindflex headset hooked up to the Arduino Uno. Hey guys, so I've been playing around with this uh, Mindflex headset hooked up to the Arduino Uno and uh, some interesting results. Uh, what I've found is it works best on the laptop without uh, being plugged into AC power and obviously lower the noise floor around us as much as we can, kill all the fluorescent lights we can, etc. And uh, so far my results are a little varied. It's really tough to tell what's going on. Um, what I can tell is when I put this on in my office upstairs uh, with all the wireless hooked up around it, it doesn't work well at all. I get no values for the attention and meditation, which are internally calculated by the NeuroSky chipset. They won't reveal their algorithms, how they, they uh, work with it. By the way, this is on my head right now. Um, so uh, up there, it doesn't do squat. I, I can very, if I mentally scream, I seem to be able to affect the attention value somewhat, but uh, not nothing repeatable, nothing consistent. So what I came up with is I made a video. Actually, I made two, but uh, I made a video with Microsoft PowerPoint just showing an up arrow to concentrate in the upward direction and then uh, also a relaxed slide and turned it into a movie. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna leave the headset on, I'm gonna set up some screen capture here, and uh, I'm going to play that video on my iPad, and I'm gonna try it two ways. The first way I'm gonna show you is with me not being able to see this screen. So I won't be affected by the changes in the bars and all the busyness going on. And then I'll try it again with the feedback that I'll be able to see from the attention bar. That's the one that the Mindflex game uses to, uh, to raise the ball. And uh, a lot of people doing research projects use to, to hack these and, and perform outputs. That's the one I'm interested in. The others are uh, uh, accuracy is in question, um, but they do seem to be functional what little I can tell, but repeatable experiments will, will show better. And I think there's a big learning curve on how to make your brain affect this thing properly. So a lot of different techniques, mental math, concentrating on pushing that bar up. But uh, right now I'm, I'm going to show you the test live and uh, let you make your own decision. Again, if my brain maybe not working the way others do, maybe I'm not concentrating correctly, I'm not entirely sure, but that's why I'm going to do the test, so uh, it's going to be pretty boring after this, feel free to skip the rest unless you want to see the, the live test, it'll be uh, several minutes of a uh, double screen overlay and we'll just see how it works, thanks for watching.